Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with a segue into this next point that God just gave me. I saw the word germinate, germinate. I'm going to read to you the definition. God is describing us, his people that he's got hidden, that he's got under protective custody right now, where we're feeling confined. Yeah, like I talked about in the previous video, this is the word that just came to me, and I had to contain my emotions so I could do this. Listen, some of us are being germinated through this period. Do you hear me? And this is what germination means. To, I got to say it slowly, develop, take root, incubate. Grow. Then what happens? You mature. You advance. You emerge. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Now we're going to go to Isaiah 54. So you understand that if you're a woman that can't have kids, if you're a man or woman, who has made little progress in your life, if you don't seem to be able to, to break ground, if it seems like things have been holding you back half your life or most of your life, if it seems like things are, you know, like we talked about before, you run into one obstacle only to run into another mm -hmm. obstacle only to end up with another detour. Listen. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, Break forth in the singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Now listen, I'm going to stop here. Pat's two cents and I'm going to continue. For those of you who feel very little progress has taken place at your hands, that you've accomplished very little, that what you have done has come to, to small uh, progress has come to has 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 come to very little. You 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 can't say that you've made strides and you you've made a great impact on this world because everything you seem to be doing is small and insignificant. Listen, enlarge. Oh boy, this is what hit me. The submarine dream, the war above, and God hiding and protecting. His people, enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. Listen, I'm going to stop right now. I'll read the next verse in a minute. Pat's two cents. We are in the stage of germination and preparation. The last days are upon us. The seven-year tribulation is upon us. It's about to reveal itself. The mark of the beast. The beast. The antichrist. The whole nine yards, baby, is getting ready to break forth. Well, what God has got his people, he's got us hidden. But we're in a stage of preparation while we're hidden. So we need to pray I'm going to say it the way that Lynette said it during one of our conversations. She said God gave her an acronym. TOP. Trust. Obey. And pray. And you know who we are to trust. All right. So we are, this is our time to delve into the word, to build up ourselves spiritually, doing spiritual warfare, cleaning out the closets, getting rid of any old debris from old sin, from old sinful characteristics, okay? Burning up all the flesh so that we can be a clean vessel when God is ready to bring us up to the surface. Three, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. Can you imagine? Thou shalt break forth. Okay, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities 
to be inhabited. Now, dream coming to my mind. Years ago, I dreamt that we had a flood, just all this rushing water coming through the city streets like a river rapid. I mean, it was splashing so big that it was going over our heads. But we didn't get wet. Now, I'm, I find myself in this building, again, like she did in the sub, with all born-again Christians. And one of the, men, of the men's voices rose up and said, Everyone stay inside. And as we looked down the street through this glass wall, this glass window, we could see all this crackling and stuff coming down the street. It looked like the street was freezing over, but it wasn't ice. You know what it was? It was the night light reflecting on the shiny backs of this, this, um, uh, this swarm, so to speak, of, of uh, beetles crawling on. I mean, there was no unopened surface. There was no open surface. Everything was covered with beetles, black beetles. Big black beetles. You could hear the snap crackling and popping of them moving together down the road. And the guy said, stay in, lock everything up. Nobody go out until it passes. Excuse me. Till it passes. We wait. It passes. Then the door opens and the men and the women come out. And we as the church start cleaning up the debris and we start attending to the aftermath of the disaster now listen the next thing that happens in the dream they get a phone call and they announce to all of us we need volunteers we've got people who are who are injured we've got people with no clothes their houses have been ruined burnt to ruin we need people to come and help the medics minister to the injured, to the ones that, that, that are almost dying. We need people to get out here, bring food, bring water. I mean, it was like everything that was necessary for the aftermath to help the people that, were, that fell victim to the disasters. It was the church that did it, you guys. It was us. The ministries are going to break forth after the dust settles from all the destructions. But in the meantime, God has us hidden. Let me say this to you. I know God relocated me and my husband and many of my friends. We're up here in the high desert. Where, is, where does God want to relocate you to? Ask God for his strategy for your life to set you up to be in the right place at the right time where your gift is most needed and be willing to cut your past loose and move forward into the plan of God into God's destiny for you do you hear me okay these are the last days let's prepare now Let's allow God to germinate us, shall we? In the name of Jesus. Father, I say like Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 6, Send me, Lord, I'll go.